Hi, let's talk about putting braid on spinning reel spools this morning. Just a couple of tips to help you along the way. Here's a good one. <clears throat> when you put the braid on the reel and you get salt water sticking to the braid, it can cause corrosion in your spool. So a real good idea is get a candle and run it round on the spool and line the inside of the spool with candle wax. Make a little point on the candle so you can get right in there. That means after a while with your wet braid on there, you're going to lessen the chances of getting corrosion on your spool. Give a good generous layer of wax as the spool heats up it'll, with the friction it'll put a nice little layer of wax on there. It'll also help the braid slipping on the spool but as an added measure we're going to do something else in a minute with that. So there's a good layer of wax on there that'll give you some good protection from the salt water. You can do the backing two ways, you can put some monofilament around the spool. You need to do that because the braid will actually slip around the spool if you don't have some backing on there, something for the braid to grip on. The best method though if you want a full spool is to pop your braid on. Any knot, it doesn't matter, just a, just a slip knot. On the spool. Trim off the tag end. Put a few layers of line on there, and then just get a bit of tape, masking, uh, duct tape works fine, and just put a layer of tape over the braid and stuck onto the spool, that way it makes the braid stick to the spool, and away you go, you can quite happily fill the braid up. Really good idea to keep it tight, if you don't keep it tight, the mine will pull into itself. Nice and tight, nice and even across the spool. Braid doesn't like heat, so when you're putting your tension on the spool, make sure you put it in the middle of the spool or on the lip on the outside so you don't get burrs on the inside. And definitely stay away from where the braid sits on the spool. Braid doesn't like heat, so be careful on that one. We've filled a 5,000 die with spool for stick baiting. We've got 300 metres of PE5 65 pound goose and jigging on there. We're going to put a 2 metre 130 pound castman absorber leader on there with an FG knot, be nice and small for casting. So just remember we've got our wax on the spool for protection. We've put tape on there as well and got it on nice and tight. So we're ready to go stick baiting. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Go fish.